What inspired you to make the second book? What am I to do? What? What did inspire you to make the second book? Oh, what inspired me to make the second book? It was an idea that I had. Usually, it's, it's always the beginnings of these books. I had the idea from the first book. Bran is found locked in a bank vault whenever he's six years old, with like no memory of his past or how he got there. And I thought, what happens if? And it links with the prologue of this book as well. What happens if somehow there's a cash box in the same bank vault with his mother's name on it, his dead mother's name on it, and? Uh, what would she put inside of this box? And that was the idea that kind of sparked this story, like what's inside of that box and why did she hide it with him and how did it get there and all these different questions. So that's what inspired the Spectre game. So, yeah. How did you come up with all of the unique names in this? Did those just come from your imagination or were they inspired by things? The names? Um, well, there's a variety of sources. Like, um, let's see, Mabel came from this book called The Dictionary of Phrase and Fable, which you can get, I think, at pretty much any library. It just has lists of names from mythology and old stories and really old classic books. It has all the ridiculous names, and you can search through them and all that stuff. So I just found Mabel through there. Same thing with Boulder. That's where I found Boulder's name. Uh, Bran, Bran's name might have come from there. I don't really remember where his name came from, because that was a name that I'd had in old stories for the longest time. He used to be called Alaric Hambrick, which is a very much more Irish name. And Fran Hembrick. Fran Hembrick is still an Irish name, kind of. But yeah, he used to be called Alaric Hembrick and we changed it to Bran. Uh, Suey came from, I know most of you have probably seen the movie Lady and the Tramp, the animated one. There's a scene inside of there where the woman, you don't see her, and she's calling out that she wants some chopped suey, like a dish. And I was like probably nine years old then. It was very young, and I wrote it down in my notebook like, Suey, that's a perfect name for a bumbling fool. So that's where I got the name Suey. <laughs> The rest of them, Gary, is um, inside the second book, the character named Gary, is the name of a character on a Pokemon card. Many, many years ago, I liked the name Gary, and I wrote it down in my notebook. I'd use the name Gary one day as a guy that collects keys. Um, Addy came from an old computer game that they used in schools many, many years ago. Did anyone play Reader Rabbit? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Someone did? Okay, finally someone. Okay, did anyone here play the game? What about EcoQuest? Have you ever played that game? Anyone? Maybe? I think I might have. You can what? I think I might have. It was embedded in another game with an alien whose head spun around in circles named Addy. Hmm. That's where I got the name Addy from. And nobody knows that reference, and I feel like, am I making this up in my head, the computer game with the alien whose head spins around? Nobody's played that. They don't use that in schools these days. I feel old now. That's weird. It was a fun game. It was just the name Addy. But, um... That's where I got those names. I don't know the rest of them. Most of the other ones I made up, like okay. Oswald. What about, like, did you make up Astara? Yeah, I did make up Astara. Astara was actually um, based off of another name. It was like Astarta, like there was an extra T yeah. inside of there that was in some, it was like the name of a constellation or something. I don't really remember, but I took out the T and I thought Astara sounds better.